Toys are an important part of our childhood. As we grow up, playing with toys helps fuel our imagination. But for some people, the thrill of collecting toys never goes away. And as adults, they can use their imagination to take their passion one step further. Dan Morris is a well-known toy customizer in Victoria. With model building supplies and a lot of creativity, he turns store-bought toys into works of art that bring fantasy one step closer to reality. Any kid can buy a model kit and put it together and paint it. But to get it to look like it, the picture on the box is, uh, you really have to know what you're doing. So how did Morris get his start? Just to see something when you're 20 that you had when you were, you know, something that you just, you cherished when you were nine years old. That's sort of what got me back into it. A, a customized toy really should be displayed and not played not something you'd want to hand over to a, a, a seven-year-old child and expect the paint to hold up. A lot of people will ask me, why does it scratch when I rub it with my fingernail? And I'll say, well, why are you rubbing it with your fingernail? One aspect of toy customization is making plastic toys look more gritty and realistic. But another aspect is creating something completely new. It's called Zombie Robocop. He's actually made up of uh, two figures. Um, one is uh, a RoboCop figure. Uh, the other one is a uh, action figure from the Terminator movie. Morris's works have been on display at Cherry Bomb Toys, a popular store for classic toy collectors. And thanks to eBay, customizers like him do well enough to get noticed by big toy companies like Hasbro and Mattel. But there was a customizer who actually lives here on the island and he was doing beautiful jobs where he was making them battle damage and just detailing them perfectly. And now Hasbro has it in their next battle pack coming out. So why do toy collectors find these customized jobs so appealing? It's the diehard fan who's looking for that one of. And it's kind of almost borderline where it's like if you make it just right and it's so perfect and it looks nice and clean and it's well done, it's almost a piece of art. It's amazing what some people can actually do with these pieces. And it's just like, wow, you know, yeah, it's worth the money that some of these guys are you know, paying for some of these customs because the time alone just to get that done is worth it. Ultimately, it's a hobby that's about keeping the kid in you alive. I think you're just reliving your youth and having fun. To anybody who doesn't quite understand it is going to probably make fun of it, but you know, that comes with anything you do. It's your pastime, you're having fun with it, it's your time. Do what you like. And we're all about, you know, staying young and having fun.